What? Automatic truck. And automatic clothes. It's about time. Oh yeah, hand show. Let's get into it. In it. In a test. Still got pearl, got diamond, no more snowbell. Snowbell is gone, so I had a couple of products that I hear I've, I've been had and I was supposed to install them. So since I don't have snowbell no more, we got the hand show power trunk, 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 we want to call it. So we're going to install that. And we also have the hand show for the screen display. But the first video, that's the second video, we'll do that after. But we're going to install this and try it out. A lot of people got these in, so I might do the installation. I might just put it in and show y'all how it come out. But yeah, that way you get automatic trunk. Because I also got the key for diamond. So I push this twice. See, it's open up. But the problem with that is, if I push it twice again, it's not going to close and release. So we're going to install the automatic so that way when you push it twice, it closes. Push a close in, lock in or whatever. Hand show, see? 21 Model 3 power trunk, insulation. These step by step. So if you happen to buy one, you put in the year, your car, and so on. And they actually tell you everything, how to follow this. And follow this, and so on. And you just gotta, you know, install it. If you have any problem, whatever, they'll tell you no gear, and so on, trunk, mounts, all that crap. All right, so, yeah, we don't need that. I'm gonna just start, do my own thing. If I get problems, then I'll come back to this. <laughs> but yeah, let me get started. First thing we're gonna pull off. Pull this off. Right. Pull this off. These two things come off. Then we gotta remove that in the front. We gotta raise it up. Time. Now removing this, we got seven screws I believe check this out as you can see move the camera over some for y'all we got one two three four five six and then one over there oh wait over there by the water thing by the brake fluid so I use this Need a 10 socket and take that out. All right, so after I take all those screws out, this should easily pop right up. Right up like that. I put the screws in here so that way you won't lose it. Out of the way. Okay, guys, just realized some. Um, now you're gonna change out the shocks. But I just realized this is way bigger. So, therefore, I think what Henshaw ended up doing is send you new hinges. So, you have to replace the original hinges and put these on because I believe. When you used to install it, when people install that, like I said, I see this before on YouTube, but when they used to install that, the trunk used to be closer. 
So hence should look like they make their own bracket now. So that way when you install these, it will open up as wide as that or wider. I'm not too sure. But that's what it looked like to me. Because I've seen these two in here. And it looked totally different. So let me get a little closer and show you. So what you want to do is get like a flathead screwdriver. Have a groove right here. Pop that out. You have a groove on the bottom one as well. You pop that out. Take this out. Remove this one. Like I said, this is a 2021. I don't know. It might be different for the older one, but we're going to definitely replace that with uh, not that. But definitely, Angel said, I say, look like a new bracket to support the shocks. That's the right side. Yeah, so I think I got to take that one out and install this one. As you can see. Yep. I don't think it's the same thing. Yeah, it's a little bit higher. The ball part a little bit higher. So yeah, we install this and do the bottom part and then so on on both sides. And then, you know, clip it in. And before you take these out, those screws in the trunk was 10. These are actually a 13. So you replace this too. And these two screws out here. Wait, let me show you. And then these two to replace the next bracket. Okay, guys, so let me show you what I take off. Now, this is the original, and this is the aftermarket hand show on. As you can see, it's totally different. You can see the, so I guess they did that because of the shocks size and doable, I guess. But original and show. So we gotta install this one also for the bottom. Original. I left it on the shocks, I didn't take it off. And this is the hand show. Um, so it's pretty much different. But it lined up the same way. So what I'm gonna do is click this part in here. Install this part in the bottom and then do the top and you know do the rest. So after installing that and this one, I just wanna turn this up and just snap it in. Alright guys so after installing both shocks as you can see got the two wires running right here from each one i'm gonna have it like i say it doesn't matter which side you put it because the boat got the same end so it's not left or right or right or left so you just follow that have both of them i just need them right here for now now we got to go work on taking up this part putting the new spring and hooking up the wires down here so yeah we're gonna work on that definitely right now Okay, before we do that, you can take your wire harness and you're gonna look for the one with the kind of washer wire to the end. The one is this, you don't got nothing on it, so this will be a ground. And the next one that have this on it is the power. Check your fuse, make sure the fuse is good. Put it in. So the one with the fuse, that's this one, is gonna go to the red right over here. And this one, I'm gonna put over right in the corner there on the ground. You can ground it to the battery too, it doesn't matter. Either or, but I'm gonna put this one over here. And then I might, I put this one here because of the brain part, it's gonna be lower down here. I don't know where I'm gonna stash it as yet. So the power, got the red cap, and then the ground is gonna be right over there. Let me show you. Right over in that corner right there okay so i'm gonna put it there and like this is the power it's going over the red cap is now when we take the cap off we're going to go back to a 10 meter now 
to loosen that and to loosen the ground. Just gonna use a 10, loose it out, slide it in there, slide it in there, okay? Okay, so as you see, I loosened this one and I just slide it under there, got that, run it here. I'm gonna have the fuse right back here so if I need to get to it, I don't have to take the whole trunk out, run it down and then the ground, had the ground hook up to right here. So there go the wire harness. So yeah, that's your ground, hook up right here single wire by itself look like a little washer that's the ground and the power like I said now we could take this off and work on that okay the next thing what we could do is from the wire harness after you tie that up these two that look identical these are the shocks so you could use one of this and one of this as you see simple small and big obviously just snap it in and snap this in do the same thing for the next shot like this and this you will install same way slide it lock slide it There you go. And it's locked. So once it's locked, that's for that. So therefore, we have these wires now to hook up. So the shocks is all connected. We run it neat. We decide to do it. Then we're gonna figure out these last set of wires. These are like wires, so it's gonna go into one main part to the next and so on, but I'll show you exactly where you do with these wires. And yeah, looking good so far. Okay, so we're gonna take off two bolts right here. One, one, and two, these two bolts. All right, so get that lock off. Okay, so after we Take these two screws out. I'm gonna pull this red clip out like that. Screw it right here. And pull it out. Now, we're gonna remove the spring. This is the newest spring for the 2021. So, you don't need no pliers now. You just use your fingers like that. Pull out from here. Take this out. Okay, we got a new spring. So, place that. Before you put in a new spring, you gotta put in this lock. Now, if this, if you if you having to buy one from Handshow and the wire is not as long as this, you have to hook everything up and just press on lock hole. Get get unlocked so this could get loose. Okay, if not, it's not going because sometimes if it, if you get it and it's tight like this all the way, that mean you gotta hook everything up and just press. Unlock inside your car, or whatever, to get long like this. Okay, you gotta get it long like this. Once it's long like this, now you will take the lock right here, put this behind here. Now hook this like so. Let's go right here. So that's the end there. Now we get a new spring and put a new spring in. New spring right here. So, here's a new spring. Now I have this like this. That's like that. I want to say. That new spring will come in all the way here. Lock behind that. And there you go. 
roughness all the way into like that. So it's locked. Once it's locked, we'll put this like this and screw it back up. Okay. Now we just put the two screws and then we're going to tighten the, the screws up. So after you tighten up these two screws, you're going to take this part going to be right here hanging. You're going to hook a wire up to this and stick it all the way underneath here. So, okay. so now you're going to take this harness and this wire, the big one by itself. This is one by itself. Put plug into this. Is the big one after they plug that up the single one by itself will be the trunk release then you have two other wires or two wires one to plug into right here and I believe it is this one so this wire right here and this this two of them look alike so this will plug in to this part This way, here you lock, lock it in. And then this one, we'll plug in to this part. Here it lock, and then push that in. Now, over here, on this side, you got this little clip right here, you're gonna lift up. I'll latch this one. That's this one, we'll go into that spot, and then that will go into this one. So, why? So that will plug into here this one plug in to this one so here it is lock and it lock okay okay so the last two wires one is the the module right here let's pull this up like that we put it this way slide it in lock it in and then the last wire, this is from this module, not the original one. We'll plug into here so you can test. That way you can test the trunk. Make sure the trunk releasing and stuff. See it light up? Now you can press, but I didn't tighten this part too tight. Because you got to adjust. You got to adjust the, make sure that. It's closing good with that. So we could give it a try and see. Don't press. You can press it on this and see if it closed down. And it's closing. And I see. And it look like it. Oh. Aha. I got the key fob. I'm from the key fob. So now, before, I'm going to just try it again. Press twice. You hear that beep? I'm actually gonna close. So it closed good enough. Tap it again. So therefore I didn't have to really adjust it. So it's closing perfect. So I'm gonna try to tighten it up. Them two screws up. But I'm gonna come and run that wire behind that. Run that wire behind that. Put the module to the side, one to the side. Knead it up pretty good, show you how I knead it up. And then, put all that back in there. And then, see how, how it look with the finals is done. Yeah. Okay guys, the diamond is all set. As you can see, got the key fob. 
push it twice and open up you hear the beep push it again twice and she closed so yeah there you have it i like this feature but you know the car is all electric so why not have it the front where it could be all electric tesla don't have it like that people's doing it a lot of people doing it on youtube you look it up they're doing it because talking about fingerprints and all that look at my hand man i don't care about fingerprints i only do it because of the style oh they're doing it oh because i don't want to touch my hood it's a car people touch a car you doing someone touch your own car it's a car touch it fingerprint all over look it's, it's dirty yeah but i do it because it's fun it's a 2021 installation so i got automatic front automatic trunk so press the back twice lock the back now i press the and i lock the front so yeah i like that feature man Close real smooth and nice. Oh, you can also do it in front of the inside of the car. I can show you. We do it inside of the car as well. So I'm in diamond. I could open it. <laughs> then I can also close it. It won't say close though, it'll say open. Everybody know that who you know. Close it. What I like about it though, is let's say I had the car in drive and you hit the open, it won't open. It's like a safety. Oh, the door's open. Okay, yeah, it's like a safety. It won't open, no matter how much I try. I believe on the app also, you try to open it, it won't open once the car in drive. Now I put the car in park and you hit it it pop right up like that feature y'all so yeah there you have it now this is the 2021 the other one so if you're buying it from hang show make sure and put in the exact year of your car the 21 spring latch is totally different so yeah yep the mods so next mod would be the screen heads up the screen while you're driving gonna put up right here so you gotta please subscribe to the channel, like, share. You know, I'm just putting in more mods. Snowball not here, so like I said, that's the next one. I'll put the video up. Just click on it if you want to see that installation as well. But yeah, hope y'all can like, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. If you haven't already, if you did, thanks. Thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, notification. And yeah, I'm gonna keep making more videos, more mods to come once again all right so yeah i like this catch y'all in the next one so until then see y'all in the next one peace